the game to see the boxing boys. Welcome back, gang, for the first time and hopefully many more to come. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and click on the notifications right here, this little bell, so you can get those emails every time we go live. How are you guys doing? Not as good as you. Yeah. <laughs> go on, go on. I'm sorry. Go on. First off, how does it feel to be a world champion? Uh, it's everything I ever dreamed about, but still kind of settling okay. in a little bit. You know, he's, uh, he was a very strong, yeah. very hard-hitting fighter, but I know that... Uh, We'd be able to outpunch them and uh, and outwork them, and that's what we did tonight. So uh, very, very, very comfortable, very, very happy. How were you able to keep up that pace the whole night? Um, you know, I've got to give a lot of thanks to Eddie Mustafa Muhammad, uh, my coach. He would follow me going to Mount Charleston, going up this mountain for five miles every Saturday. Plus, I was putting in seven mile runs three times, you know, three times a week. Plus, my five mile run on the uh, on Saturdays. A lot of running, a lot of hard work on the bag, and, and uh, work on the mitts. He was just very strict on being in great shape and knew when to give me days off so I went over training. So we'd see some things and then and okay, we're gonna dial it back. How's your weight? It's good? Okay, we'll dial it back. You know, don't come in tomorrow. And, and it, everything really worked out. It was kind of working, you know, both smart and hard. So I mean I honestly had no idea that I was uh kept that pace up. That was the pace that we were, we were fighting at, but uh, I'm very happy obviously. You know, that's that's where we were at with it. So how did you see the fight going into the decision? Did you feel it was close, or did you feel that you were the guy that was a, winning the fight clearly? I'm a firm believer in you have to beat the champion. You know, and when you're in there, of course, you can always have a outlook like I'm winning the fight, I'm winning the fight. But you don't really, you know, I don't have that that outside eye. I'm not, I'm not a judge. You know, I'm just in there throwing the punches. Obviously, I know that he landed some good shots himself. You know, he, he had a really good job of keeping his left hand out and hiding his, his right hand. It was a very strong shot. Um, I felt like I, w I had won, but it's not until you hear those words in the new will you actually, you know, allow that to settle in. And also you realize that you're now a champion. Now, when you heard of the wide scorecards, what did you make of it? Because I was thinking I that there's no way that I, that I lost, you know, but again, you got to beat the champion. Right. It doesn't matter where we're at, that he's from Japan and he's in the U.S. It doesn't matter where you're from, you have to beat the champion. So... Of course, there's always going to be that shadow of a doubt saying, you know, did they give it to him? But I'm always going to feel like I won this fight. But until they say in the new, you know, scorecards sounded good and they gave me more confidence that they weren't that close, that I felt like I was going, you know, that I was going to be the one who came up on top. But uh, until they actually said in the new, and it's like a, a million pounds falls off your shoulders and like, you know, you did it, you know, something no one will ever be able to take away from you, you know, for, I'll be able to tell my grandkids, my great grandkids. and. And I say that, but not like I'm content. Like, this is where it stops. You know, obviously the, the journey keeps going. Um, but this is something that, you know, I'll be able to, I put my name in the history books. Brad, how important, what is important when you lost with Brandon to be today, Murata? I, I learned a lot. I mean, that had a lot to do with the punch I'll put in itself. Because I know that every round you have to do everything possible in order to win. Because if you take time off, you just try to protect your, try not to get hit, just protect your undefeated record, you will lose a fight. You know, not doing everything you should be doing. So, I decided that when I decided to fight Murata, who is the best competition in my eyes I've ever fought, he's an Olympic gold medalist and a world champion, that I was going to let my hands go. I was going to punch. I was going to win. So that's what I decided to do. You made that with a lot of clean shots. Was uh, at any point did you feel like, okay, this is it? I have him. No, he never really. I mean, there was at one point where I thought that he was really hurt, but he didn't take a shot. Um, even the times where he would wobble a little bit or seem like he had completely faded. He would hop right back on the horse, and also his hands would get high. He'd smile at me a little bit, and then I knew we were rear and fight again. So I mean, at no point did I feel like, oh, he's gone, he's ready to go. I mean, there was times where I thought that it might be it, and then that giant smirk would hit, and I'm like, shit, here we go. Yeah, you know? both your promoter and his promoter said there, there might be a chance of a rematch in Tokyo. Now, how would you feel about um, having a rematch? I mean, with I them? think that's a harder fight even the second time around, especially considering it's going to be in his home country. But I mean, I respect the champion. You know, he's, he's a great champion and it's something that will definitely get worked out. I mean, I just want to fight the best at this point. I do feel that Murata is, is amongst the best. So I think that's for certainly, you know, it's on the table. But right now I'm just enjoying basking in the fact that... But could you, could you improve, though, now that you've gone 12 rounds with them? Yeah, I think that I can definitely improve. But, I mean, I'm not naive to think that he wouldn't improve as well. So I think that we would be able to improve at a faster rate than he would. Than, than he would. I mean, typically with rematches like that, you know, you, you know, the guy will win more, more so the second time around. But that would make a, a long trip to Japan. Because, I mean, I do know that he did not take a long time when he came here. I think he's been here for less than a week or maybe a week or so, which I felt was kind of ill-advised. 
you know, when you take something seriously, you take your opponent seriously, you take the proper amount of time to acclimate to, to the time zone and the altitude. I don't feel like he did that properly, you know, so I think the going to his area is going to be that much tougher, but if I'm there for a month as well, we're going to have the same result in my eyes. I'm seeing your face marked up. How did his power feel, and were you ever really hurt in the fight? You know, he did a really good job of blinding me with one, with one shot. I don't recall which round it was. He kept his left hand out, and I didn't even, I didn't even see the right hand. His glove just got a little smaller than a flash. And then uh, hurt, I mean, it wasn't necessarily hurt. It was more of a flash. He's very strong. You know, he's very snappy you know, at the end of the punch. But I wouldn't say I was in too much trouble. It was just a shot I, I certainly noticed. Now, obviously, sparring and fights are totally different, but you've been in, you've sparred uh, plenty of rounds with one of the hardest hitting punchers mm -hmm. in boxing with Errol Spence. Mm -hmm. how, do, how can you compare that power just to kind of give people I an have, idea? I have nothing against Murata. Murata's a good, strong puncher, but I've never been in the neighborhood of punching Spence, though. Spence is, is barely here. That shit is it's the different level. Um, all due respect to, you know, to right. Murata, he does punch very hard and all that, but... I mean, I had the back of my hand bruised by blocking a shot from Spence and 16 ounce gloves, you know, so it's just it's a little different in that aspect. But, I mean, not taking away anything wrong, Roddy can knock you out with a shot. Right. You know what yeah, I mean? And, you know, Spence is a little overkill. If you have enough power to knock someone out, you have the power to knock someone out, and Murata has that. Now, you're the regular champion, obviously. Yes. The super champion is Mel Alvarez. That's right. How do you fit in that picture, you feel? I mean, I feel like that's, you know, I put myself amongst the best in the world with uh, when, you, when you win a title like this. So it's definitely, like I said, I, 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 don't, uh, I don't ever look past anybody, so now it's my time to kind of sit down and look at what my options are going to be from this point forward because I think it would have been a discredit to look past Murata and say, once I beat Murata, I'm going to fight this person. That's how you get beat, or that's how you get knocked out. You know, he's a very serious champion. I took him very seriously, and that's why we came away with the victory. So now that we've already taken that, taken that victory, it's time to look at what else is out there because I, I fully understand it doesn't get easier from this point. This is the this is the launching point from being, you know, the best competition in the world. You know, your name gets thrown in the hat with some of the best in, in the world at this point now. So it's it levels up. It doesn't level down. Now, speaking of, you know, putting yourself at – amongst the best and best competition mm -hmm. by far I think this is you can't argue it's uh, one of the fight of the year candidates uh, if not fight of the year so far now with people like the zone and obviously the ESPNs that you fought mm -hmm. on tonight where at, where can you see yourself like you know because now now the phone's going to start ringing and it's going to start ringing tonight mm -hmm. Uh, how do you how do you see that play out? Because obviously Canelo's Canelo's with the Zone. Yeah. Uh, we just had Boo Boo uh, come out victorious, win the title tonight. Absolutely. He's with the Zone as well. You know, could you see yourself working with them? Continue to work with ESPN. I mean, honestly, what do you I'm, think? A, I'm a gun for hire. You know, I mean, if it comes down to a highest bid type situation, you know, I mean, they this are ESPN has been great to me. You know, I really enjoyed working with top ranking ESPN. Um, I mean, I could see myself working on the ESPN circuit as well as doing the the Zone. I mean, it's with belts comes a lot of power to, to make decisions like that. So it's just it, it, what comes down to make sense. Again, you know, I didn't really ever look at it. I've never been forced to really face myself with those decisions because I was so nearsighted in, in the fight with Murata, you know, that I didn't really think about what happens next. And now, you know, you guys are asking the questions that it's hit me like shit. Like this is this is very real now. Right. You know, these are the very real questions that are going to need answers and soon. You know, because I'm not somebody that wants to sit on the shelf for very long. I want to get right back in the horse. What about you go? week? You got another championship fight in your division with um, Devin Chanko and Danny Jacobs. How do you see that fight playing out? Oh, that's going to be a fun fight to watch. I personally have Jacobs. I think Jacobs is one of the best. Um, obviously, Darian Chanko won the fight for a reason. They just have you know, rounds they spar together. So it could be really interesting. I think the fight's going to heat up relatively quickly. And uh, I'm excited to watch it. But you have Jacobs with the edge. I have Jacobs with the edge, but I'm not very. I'm not as familiar with Darian Chanko. So okay. I mean, I just have it from. Uh, I used to play as Danny Jacobs in like 2008 on Fight Night. So like I'm a little bit, you know, I'm a little bit, you know, jaded. Or I'm a little bit uh, scared toward to Jacobs for that aspect. So. I know you said you would do a rematch, but would you do an immediate rematch with Murata? Again, this are, these are I, I would. I mean, I respect him enough to, to understand, you know, that he made a mistake in coming out here early and, uh, or not coming out here early enough. Um, and I understand. I mean, it's definitely something that's on the table. I mean, I'm not going to, to turn anything down if it's what makes the most sense at that time. I would definitely take that fight again. Um, a lot of bucks, too. That is definitely uh, <laughs> definitely a contributing factor. I'm not going to lie to you. But 
Again. Explain to me the motivation that you were talking about earlier this week about maybe looking past you. Tom Loeffler was saying, I was talking about Triple G, and that, that upsets you a little bit. You know, you mentioned already yeah, people I looking past people. Like, I felt like it was a little, again, I don't know how much it was him personally, but it was very disrespectful that I'm going on to my <coughs> Facebook page, going on boxing sites, and seeing Tom Loeffler showing up as a potential fight for Triple G next. I mean, my name was nowhere in those conferences, nowhere in those conferences. So now I think, oh, absolutely. But I mean, it's you know, you're gonna have to, you're gonna have to do a little bit more now because you know, obviously, I'm so overlooked. I'm not, I'm not just gonna be a set, great second choice. I'm the power now. I'm the power now. So, thank you, thank you, Rob. TPV family, yes, yes. YouTube has been cutting funding to uh, their channels as of late, and with net neutrality. Uh, going through th its process. The internet is changing. If you want to keep your favorite channel intact, coming up with tons of content, and plus get hours and hours of extra content, head over to patreon.com forward slash the boxing voice uh, to become a member of the TBV family and help support the channel. Peace.